Hello everyone. So here's another video and I planned to do a video with this thing here, this snorkel mask and attach a filter to it. But of course Murphy's in the house. Um, as I was printing this little thing, this heater block, it just fell off. Never seen that happen before, but this time I did. So I installed a new heater block, right? This one. And I figured we're good to go. And then the temperature got all wacky. I don't know why, I don't know how. So I installed a new thermistor, a new type as well. And uh, still, temperature got out of whack. So I'm suspecting that it's the connector that's not making a pro proper connection as a connector should do. Therefore, this is not going to be about mask, this is going to be about thermistors. Yeah, so let's just dive into it. I'm just going to draw a graph here. And this will be resistance. And this will be temperature. And you get uh, high resistance with an NTC, 100K. You get something like high temperature, uh, high resistance at low temperature and low resistance at high temperature. Unfortunately, it's not a straight line because that would be easier than you would have like point A and point B at the end and every variation, well, degree in between, but no, it's going to be more like, like this. So that makes it a bit difficult. So we need t temperature tables, a number of uh, temperatures with their corresponding resistance like this one uh, this is the 3950 100 kilo ohms at the temperature of 25 degrees uh, it's gonna have it's gonna be 100 kilo ohms at minus 30 it's the resistance minus 30 centigrade at least or 243 Kelvin the resistance is 1700 kilo ohms and then you've got a table minus 5 minus 10 20 and it runs on all along up to 300 degrees at a resistance of 0 0.1 kilo ohms unfortunately you don't measure resistance directly you mis measure voltage over the resistor so I'm just going to put in a resistor here for instance then we can measure uh, across this resistance a, a voltage drop of 3 volts, 3 to 0, right? That's basically it. So you can just connect your Arduino board with the pins to this, to this and this, and then you measure 3 volts. And it doesn't matter what the resistance is, as long as there is a certain amount of resistance. The problem is, now we have, a, if this is a thermistor, the temperature, the, the resistance changes according to the temperature, according to this table here, for instance. So we have a trouble, trouble measuring voltage because the voltage will always be the same drop, three volts. So we add in another resistor. Now we have two resistors, and suppose this resistor would be hundred. Let's just say hundred, and this would be hundred as well then they both would have a voltage drop of one and a half volt separately and together it would be another three volts three volts measurement so uh, yeah uh, now we're going to say well what if this would be not hundred but for instance two hundred then there would be a voltage drop of one volt across the first emitter across this one and two volts across this one and how th does that happen? Well, it's uh, the resistance that you measure out of the total resistance. So this would be 100 ohms out of the total 300 ohms. That's basically it. Now, if this would be a thermistor, 
this temperature, this resistance will change uh, with, uh, with respect to uh, the temperature. Now we can measure a, a, a varying voltage across that, that transistor. And how does that work? Well, usually I have a, a controller board that has a second resistor of 4.7 kilo ohms. And according to this temperature table, a 100 kilo ohm resistor is calibrated at 100 kilo ohm at 25 degrees. That's this one. I have a 4.7 kilo ohm here and a 100 kilo ohm here at 25 degrees. What would that mean? That would mean 3 volts multiplied with 100 divided by, well, 100 plus 4.7. Well, that would be 300 divided by 104.7, which is, well, 300 divided by 104.7 would be 3.8 something volts. Now if we look up in the thermistor table, or let's say 200 for instance, that would be 0 0.582 kilo ohms. So that's, let's just say 0 0.5 for convenience. The voltage would be 0 0.5 divided by 0 0.5 plus 4.7, that would be 5.2. 2. So 3 times 0 0.5 would be 1.5. So 1.5 divided by 5.2 and we get a voltage of almost 0 0.3 volts. So that's how we can measure its temperature. And some boards have a 4.7 kilo ohm uh, in series and other boards have a 10 kilo ohm in series. And so you have to pay attention to that part. Uh, depending on, and some NTCs are 10 kilo ohms, some NTCs are 100 kilo ohms at 25 degrees. I'm using an Arduino, so I'm going to the Arduino website, and the analog input pin registers analog read. Let's let's take that one. It registers a value between 0 and 1023. So if it's at 3.3 volts, it would be 1023 with an analog read, 1023. So instead of voltage, we can just multiply this value by 1023, because that's actually the value that you read in, uh, in Arduino. So that would be 1023 times 0 0.5, well, that would be 0 0.5 times 1023 equals 511 uh, divided by 5.2 equals 98. So that's the value you read from uh, in, in with an analog read uh, command in, in Arduino. So now we can convert this temperature table, these resistance values with any calculation, we can convert them to input values for your Arduino. It's a bit tedious to get all these values calculated, but uh, you can do that with the Python program. You probably can find some online that can do that for you. I write C, so um, I could make, make a program for that. or. I could just use, uh, well, I've got LibreOffice here, and it's still a bit tedious. However, I can just select this part, for instance, like so. Copy, paste it in a notepad like this, enter. Next would be this one, copy, like that. Next would be, and so on. Uh, this is a comma separated value, it should be a dot in period in between, so control H, uh, comma separated, will be replaced all of these like this. Now I'm just going to file, I'm going to save it, test, and I'm going to import it with uh, this LibreOffice here, file, open, test.txt, open, uh, separated by semicolon, oh yeah. Um, 
separated by space and it would look like this okay and I'm not really interested in these values these are the centigrades so what I'm going to do now is um, a function equals C1 divided by C1 plus 4.7 and then 1023 okay uh, that didn't work out very well multiplied here we go now I can just copy this to here and to here and so on now let me just move this area towards here and then C1 uh, A1 sorry A1 ok Control C copy paste it here paste it here now let's see if I can get this copy there we go now let's take a look this is an old Marlin version uh, let's see I'm just gonna scroll to the Tomister table which is Tomister tables right here dot H so I'm gonna have to change this I have to change this a bit I suppose I can just type in round something like that yeah that works better Control C Control V Control V so I could just say for instance move these here and then I could just write here um, over some whole number comma put in a I could do it like this yeah it's gonna be something like this copy control C like this and then replace tabs these are tabs control H with the space uh, replace all yeah, something like this. So this is uh, the sensor that I bought. This uh, HT NTC 100K. Well, this is high temperature. It can reach up to 320 degrees, and I think even higher. But beyond that, it will be pretty uh, inaccurate. Now I've been looking all over the place for the data sheet on this thing, and uh, the only thing that I could find was this one the 104 f 3950 so and this is running up to uh, 350 degrees so I, I figure this could be just about the same so I've got the temperature table here with all the resistance values and uh, I can simply well they have a value for each degree but if you look at this 1022 1022 1020 these are all the same values if you have a 10 kilo ohm resistor of course you should just replace this 10 uh, I'm just using a each every five degrees yeah let's start out with uh, minus five this one I'm just gonna select this field here and scroll down all the way and shift left click this then I've got them all selected copy paste them in notepad and as you can see uh, there are steps here you can hardly see it Control H I replace these with well nothing replace all yeah that's better now I can just uh, remove the ver enters here uh, wait a minute this is uh, minus 5 going up if I open the Marlin settings as you can see it moves three from, from 300 downwards I could do that too let's say I'm just gonna select these um, these two sort 
column A descending okay so now it's switched from high to low temperature yeah let's select this one 350 sure why not and then move it down to well, let's select them all for the time being like this copy Control A, Control V. So this is basically um, the table that I found. If you have anything better, let me know because I couldn't possibly find, for the life of me, I could not find the HT hundred, HT NTC hundred K. But I think this might do as well. Well, then let me just select all of these. And here's my thermistor table, and uh, I don't need, uh, this is a 10k thermistor, I don't use a 10k thermistor, so I could just say, for instance, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna use these, 10k thermistor, like that. and uh, end it here so this is comments and this would be HT NTC 100k and 3950 B3950 and uh, let's put it in here. So I'm just gonna, gonna say Control V, paste it in here, and then select all of it. Press the tab, just indent it some. I guess this, I guess this should do the trick. And then in my configuration, I could just move to. Uh, here these are the boards these are the temperatures so temp sensor 0 I could set that at uh, 4 this type of uh, Marlin is installed on my printer but if you have version 2 I guess um, well I've been looking for the Mr. tables here and uh, high temperature thermistor that I got is most familiar with this one. I'm just going to drag it into Arduino and hopefully that will work. I have no clue. But uh, yeah, I get this OV. Okay, so we can use uh, real numbers here. I'm just going to copy this part, Ctrl C. Then I'm going over here, paste it here, and I'm going to change it a bit. Let's say two decimals behind it. Let's say uh, 1023 with two zeros behind it, and then divide it by 100. Something like this, possibly, or maybe even another zero here divided by a thousand sort of like this that should be supposed to be B1 B1 now copy this Control B paste it somewhat like this and then instead of oversample this is the temperature table, so this would be OV number and then the number of degrees, which is great. Sort of like this, I guess. Just Ctrl C, copy this part, pay Ctrl A, paste it in this document. Now I've got this, now I just have to remove the tabs, Ctrl H, replace with nothing, replace all. Here we go. 
So this would be Marlin 2, I guess, and then you have the same. But this is strange. 10261. That's uh, uh that's not good. Oh point oh five, this is point five. Huh. That's the problem. There we go. Point oh five. Now it's correct. And then I can just uh, select this line for instance. Copy this paste here and so on yeah so I've got uh, this list for Marlin 1 and uh, in Marlin 2 you've got the Temistor 61 I guess but it doesn't well it's like 1207 1279 1207 that's just about here 340 degrees so it, 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 there is a bit of there's 10 degrees centigrade difference between this one and table 61. So I'm not sure which one would be more correct. This is uh, th table 61 is uh, 3950, 4.7 kilo ohm pull up, but this is form, but this is a different type of thermistor. Yeah, this is says 3950K at 2550 degrees, but this one also says. Uh, the B value is also 3950 as you can see here well for anyone for anyone who's interested in the B value of a thermistor uh, this would be the equation for it with a natural logarithmic scale here value um, yeah that's quite a bit of math here that's it's it's not too difficult, but I don't think I should get into this. But you have the B value of two temperatures, two te temperatures and uh, resistance readings. Temperature one is often 25, and temperature two is often well 100 or 50, and uh, and then you get something like well, and two temperature measurements here and here. And this is a linear line, but it should be a curve, so you need more temperature measurements between these points. If you just uh, select this table here and the graph for it, uh, line, you get at uh, 20, let's say 25 and 50. Well, that's not much of a difference here, is it? But this is as far as I got with. Uh, with my temperatures. I'm just going to install this on my printer, see how it goes, and then I'll come back with you uh, with regarding a PID temperature tuning and uh, that, that sort of stuff. And once I'm finished with that, I can continue my mask. So that's basically it for today. See you all later.